Mr. Borla, can I ask you, when did you know that the vaccines didn't stop transmission? How long did you know that without saying it publicly? Thank you very much. I'm sorry. To that question. I mean, we, we now know that the vaccines didn't stop transmission, but why did you keep it secret? You said it was 100% effective, then 90%, then 80%, then 70%. But we now know that the vaccines do not trans stop transmission. Why did you keep that secret? Have a nice day. I won't have a nice day until I know the answer. Why did you keep it a secret that your vaccine did not stop transmission? Is it time to apologize to the world, sir, to give refunds back to the countries that poured all their money into your vaccine that doesn't work, your ineffective vaccine? Yeah, you have a little bit of right. Are you not ashamed of what you've done in the last couple of years? Do you have any apologies to the public, sir? Are you proud of it? You've made millions on the backs of people's entire livelihoods. How does that feel to walk the streets as a millionaire on the backs of the regular person at home in Australia, in England, in Canada? What do you think about on your yacht, sir? What do you think about on your private jet? Are you worried about product liability? Are you worried about myocarditis? What about the sudden deaths? What do you have to say about young men dropping dead of heart attacks every day? Why won't you answer these basic questions? No apologies, sir. Do you, do you think you should be charged criminally for, for some of the criminal behavior you've obviously been a part of? How much money have you personally made off the vaccine? How many boosters do you think it'll take for you to be happy enough with your earnings? Nothing? Who did you meet with here in secret? Will you disclose who you met with? Who did you pay commissions to? In the past, Pfizer has paid $2.3 billion in fines for deceptive marketing. Have you engaged in that same conduct again? Are you under investigation like you were before for your deceptive marketing, sir? If any other product in the world doesn't work as promised, you get a refund. Should you not refund to countries that laid out billions for your ineffective vaccine? Are you used to only sympathetic media so you don't know how to answer any questions? 